A boat stuck in the St. Lucie River for a week will soon go from being an inconvenience to an expensive bill for taxpayers. The endeavor ran aground Monday night while headed to Haiti with supplies. News Channel 5's Jamel Lene joins us now live from Twin Rivers Park to explain. Jamel. Michael Kelly, well, the Endeavor, it still sits behind me. You can see those little lights over there in the far distance. Crews are still working to lift it. It is expected to be towed in the next couple of days to a local marine yard. And once that happens, the bill will be fronted or flipped to the taxpayers. And some of the taxpayers I spoke to are not so happy about that. It's been one week since the Endeavor ran aground behind Lisa Mahu's home. It's going on eight days. I think we're all wondering what's taking so long. The boat hasn't been removed yet because divers continue to work on the list that will float it so it can be towed to shore. In the meantime, residents have to deal with the nuisance. We were able to smell the fuel. I don't know if it's coming from the crane or if it is actually from the boat, but you have the odor, plus you have the sound of the crane out there. Crews have removed all the diesel barrels that were on the boat. The majority of the fuel spilled in the water has been cleaned up. Now they're working to get the rest of the cargo off, which officials say is about 140,000 pounds. But it's the bill that will hit the taxpayers once it's towed. Uh, none of us are happy. An episode like that costs a lot of money. When the boat reaches the local manufacturing site, that's when it becomes a county operation. And at that point, you know, we're expecting a bill in the tens of thousands of dollars. Money out of the general fund. Well, there comes a, a time when government has to step in and take responsibility for issues that are um, need responsibility and and the boat owner has not assumed um, responsibility for this boat so it is martin county's um, responsibility we want to do what's in the best interest of our boaters and our community and we want that boat out as quickly as possible now the county tells me that they will do whatever they can to try to get those funds reimbursed. Uh, calls to the owner have gone unanswered at this time. And the Coast Guard, they tell me that the boat is expected to be towed within the next few days. That's the latest here in Stewart. I'm Jamel Lene for WPTV News Channel 5.